who truly own Lagos. Every man has a history and so does a place. There has been a lot of claims by notable tribes as regards who truly own Lagos. Some have claimed that the people from Benin own Lagos. Some say it belongs to the Yorubas, while others finalize that Lagos is a no man's land. How true are these claims? Let's take a ride to history. Lagos is the smallest and the most populous city in Nigeria as well as Africa at large and was originally inhabited by the Awori or Yoruba fishing tribe in the 15th century. In the 16th century, the Awori moved to a part of Lagos which is now called Edo and then to a larger Lagos island. The town was dominated and invaded by the then expansive Benin Empire. The Awori settlement was conquered by the Benin Empire and the island became a Benin war camp. All Obas of Lagos traced their lineage to Ashikpa, who was the war captain of the Oba of Benin. Ashikpa is the father of Oba Adu, who was the first king of Lagos. Ashikpa was rewarded with the title Olori Ogun, which means war leader. He received the Oba of Benin sanctions to govern Lagos on his behalf. The town was named Ego by Oba Adu, the son of Ashikpa. From that time to date, Eko is still the native name for Lagos. In the 1760s, Eko was named Lagos by the Portuguese traders who settled there and began to use the town as a major center for the slave trade. The town was renamed Lagos after the coastal city located in the southern Portugal that had the greatest trade link with Africa. Profits from the slave trade allowed the ruler of Lagos, the Oba, to become the sovereign regional power. Something happened in 1985. A dispute emerged between the Oba Kosoko and his brother Oba Akitoye who was against slave trade. This dispute caught the attention of the British who occupied Lagos and please like and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell as I will be bringing to you soon what the British did during the disputes of these two bubbles.